Tank, you've had probably the strangest path of the cast that I'm aware of, at least. Can you tell them? You've got an athletic background, right? Can you kind of tell everyone what that was and how you came to, to be Alec Holster? Um, I am uh, a professional freediver uh, uh, as a hobby, but I'm also an actor. Um, but uh, I was actually giving up acting in May. I went home at Christmas and spoke to my family and decided that I'd given LA a long enough stint and that I had done my deed and hadn't made it and that I was going to go back home or try and find a job. And I was actually starting to take meetings doing medical sales because I realised I wasn't qualified, I couldn't do anything. I had nothing on my resume, I was 33 and I'd never had a job in my life. Um, <laughs> and so I could do nothing, really. Uh, and then this audition came up and I looked at it and uh, it was a recurring role. Uh, so at that point, I, I make a habit of not reading all the details about the project because they usually just freak me out if I know who's involved. So I just, I, I just want to treat it on the merits of, its, of the material. And so I knew it was a pilot and I didn't know it had been picked up for series. I knew, all I knew was it was a pilot, it was on an unknown network and that it was a recurring. So I thought, well, really, it's one episode and if it gets picked up, then it could be two or maybe three. Um, I knew that the character was someone who was really cocky, arrogant, um, athletic, and was a bit of a playboy. So I knew that if I had a woman that I was reading opposite, that I'd probably do pretty well. <laughs> so when Lindsay was there, all I did was try to basically charm the pants off her. Um, and... And, uh, and then I did that, and that went okay. <laughs> and I knew when she blushed in the audition that I was like, oh, she's going to bring me back. And then she brought me back, and that was with everyone else. Um, and Heather was there. And Mary, I don't know if you know Mary Venu. Mary Venu is an incredible casting director, but someone who I'm, I was incredibly intimidated by. And she's a sweetheart, but I was just really nervous when she was in the room. And she stood right behind Lindsay. So I was like, Lindsay was reading, and then Mary was right behind her, and I was like, fuck, Mary's here. No, no, Mary's here. <laughs> and I didn't really care about anyone else. It was just Mary, and then about halfway through the audition, Mary started smiling, and I was like, oh, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. Don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. Um, but yeah, and then I felt like it was, uh, there's probably like three auditions in the last 10 years that I thought that I really nailed, and I thought that was one of them. And I went home, and I rang my agent, and they didn't know that I was quitting, but I'd given myself three more weeks after 10 years, and, um, and I said, if I don't get this job, I'm out, and that was it. And, and I waited uh, a couple of days, and then I rang, I rang my, agent, my manager's assistant, and I said, do you know, I just want to know one way or another, just tell me. And he went, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll put in a call. And then so he calls me back about an hour later, and he says, all right, you can't tell anyone, it's just between you and I, you've got the job, but when your manager calls, just pretend like you don't know. Just pretend you don't know. So I'm like, I'm like, awesome. I got one episode on a, on a show. Great, you know. Um, and then an hour later, my manager calls. And she says, all right, all right, you got the job. But when your agent calls, just pretend like you don't know. Because they do this whole thing, right? When you don't get the job, just like the third assistant kind of calls up and goes, you didn't get it. Fuck off. And then um, if you do get it, they want to do this team call where there's like 12 people on the call and everyone gets in and they kind of get to do this high five. Um, and so I'm like, okay, okay, great. Okay, yes, awesome. I got a job. Um, and, then, and then I waited a day and then another day and then another day and then another day. And then about, a, about five days went by and I know I've got the job, but my agent doesn't know that I know that I've got the job because I'm waiting for them to call me. So I call my manager and say, hey, I feel bad do they know that I know that I've got the job because I don't want them to think that that I'm not grateful because they haven't said thank you and so they went da -da, da -da, don't worry we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it and so then my agent calls me and he says look you haven't got the job it's not official until they make you an offer and they haven't made you an offer so we're not going to tell you you've got the job until you've got the offer so just hang tight and I'm like this is why I'm quitting in three weeks <laughs> fuck you all so then another week goes by and I'm just losing my shit. But it's also like, it's kind of like when you're breaking up with someone that you know you should be breaking up with. It's like, this is why I'm leaving the business because of all these things. 
and then a week calls, and then I get the team call, right? So everyone's in on it, so they're all paging everyone in, and I'm like, okay, just fake it like you're happy, you know, fake it, fake it. I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah, here we go. And, um, and then my agent says, she says, well, okay, you've got the job, but, and I'm like, but? What? Like, what now? You got, what, what, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be a co-star, it's just a day, you know, what is it, what's wrong? And she says, they wanna make you a series regular. And then I lost my shit, I lied. <laughs> I was literally Cuba Gooding Jr. around the room. Ah, ah. I was going nuts. I, lo I lost it. I lost it for days. And, and that's how I came to meet these guys. And every day is a gift. And I pinched myself. We're, we're, we're just shooting episode 11. And I'm still, I still can't believe I'm there. So don't give up if you're out there and you want to do. Or say you're going to give up. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> I still say sleeping around's easier. <laughs> <laughs>